I think men, ladies and gentlemen, this is a heavyweight contest over six five minute rounds of one fall, one submission or a knockout to decide the to decide the winner. In this corner, ladies and gentlemen, from the Ronda Valley, Tony Charles. Give my hand, please. The opponent, ladies and gentlemen, from Croydon, uh, Surrey, Steve Vidor. Good afternoon, grappling fans, and welcome to the Assembly Hall, Walthamstow, another freestyle session. A heavyweight one to start this one. And Tony Charles going up. Tony Charles with his back to us here from the South Wales Ronda Valley. Going up a full weight here to take on heavyweight Steve Vito from Ellesmere Port Cheshire originally. One fall, just one fall decides this six round contest. Vito in these usual light yellow trunks versus Tony Charles. that Charles is trying to get out of. He's going right over the top and wasn't allowed to. He's still in the arm lock anyway. Bernard Murray, the referee for this afternoon's program. <laughs> the powerful Steve Veder determined to hold this arm lock for a bit yet. <laughs> It's going to be a lot of strength moves in this one, but also a lot of speed moves. Tony Charles is in the card. He's got his He's a perfect counter, but he's still not out of the trouble. Scissors is on there by Charles. That must have been uh, over a minute that Steve Vito had that arm lock on Charles. His first one. tried that out without putting any weight on his opponent's feet. So it didn't work. Coming back now to try the same again. Maybe the feet this time. Got to separate those knees. He's getting advice from all over the packed crowd here to get the. <laughs> all on the wrist there. That's been out. Still there, double handed toe hold, giving Feeder a chance to go for the neck. Face bar, chin rather than throat. But the toe hold has been released. All started from a body check. Side headlock ground position to Vito. Come on, 
Charles getting the referee Bennett Murray into position to watch the possible shoulder press. But he didn't even start the count. Forty-five seconds to go. The flyer over the top, but Charles didn't get on the cross press as he should have, and he missed the chance there, allowing Vito back with a stranglehold. And there's the deserved applause from this big crowd here at the Assembly Hall Wolfenstein. Tony Charles from the Rhondda Valley, South Wales, the Southern Area Heavyweight Champion, and of course still the Light Heavyweight Champion of Wales, though of course he's above that weight now, well into the mid heavyweights. I was watching him in his dressing room before the bout this afternoon, and he, um, I think he did about six double on the skipping rope, six doubles in succession, which is not bad. He's actually done ten, but six was enough to watch for me. Two. I remember the last time I said that when Charles was on, somebody laughed and said, what's so, what's so difficult about six doubles with a skipping rope? And I said, uh, I'll give you an awful lot of money if I can see you do it now. And uh, Nobody's come forward yet. I imagine that's because they know perfectly well it's a very tough thing to do. Two doubles running, pretty impossible. Vito versus Charles. Six five-minute rounds, one fall to decide this part. Vito relies on tough-looking push-ups with uh, his feet on the chairs before about to loosen up. They all have their own loosening system before going into the ring. Unbroken, that Phil Nelson of Charles. Fingers firmly clasped until. That's a lot of trouble, the flyer, and Charles going down again, too straight, and letting Vita come back with that same stranglehold he did before. And the headlock with it. To me, Charles always manages to grin, even though he's the wrong end of the move. And his efforts have failed. He still manages a, a big grin all the time. Really enjoys his wrestling. Especially when he's uh, taking on a man of the class of Fido. Two top class men in the ring there. <laughs> his head a little near, gave Vito the chance of a counter, but he's still got the back hammer on him. One and the shoulder's nine. down, almost a two. One. <laughs> so the double-handed finger into lock there. Vito the advantage at present.
a single no! point to that. And again, a counter. <laughs> Both men trying to fool each other a little bit here, and it's not always working. <laughs> Whoever wins this one, they're going to know they've been in a box. This one still he holds the interlock fingers. Until that double leg Nelson chance, the folding press chance, the spin, oh, speedy spin out there by Vida. Just as Charles was going to re-attack. Great to hear genuine applause for really excellent wrestling. And there it was. Half a minute to go now. Front head chancery to uh, Charles. Vida trying to counter it with a leg grab there. He doesn't get too long. Still the crutch hold, 15 seconds. Couldn't manage the slam because he's still in the chancery. And now he needn't really bother. If only he knew because there's only three seconds to go. Really hot round, Steve Vito. Sweating a bit, yes, but this tremendous fitness of these men. I think the ordinary man would go through that would uh, have no chance of looking half as uh, casual and as fit as, as he is at the moment. There he is, ladies, the one that I'm always getting requests for photographs for. four to go and of course no score in this heavyweight contest here at the assembly hall walthamstow between steve veder and tony charles because this is a one four bout the first four counts bernard murray the referee no no bernard murray the former bradford welterweight and it's charles going in for a bit third. and steve veder's dive on but charles saw it coming and waited for him and when he landed, the legs were very, very fast, gripping that body. <laughs> Charles using those powerful legs to get a side to side of lateral body scissors. Anything Vida does now is going to be in spite of the pressure. There's the shoulder blades down. It's a two. Then the pressure comes on Vida's sides again. And he has to release before the count of three. extremely hard for either of these men to get a fall here. In fact, I wouldn't be a little surprised if it went the whole six rounds without a fall. Flyer by Vida, again the legs wide open, waiting for Vida to land, and then the grip. And what a grip. Vida with his hands through there, control, and can he get 
Miles trying to stay back. North balance, he's got him, cross press, and gets a two and thrown again. Away quite easily, this time landing on Murray. left in this third round, Vida in the yellow trunks versus Charles. Beautifully there on the side press. And the, the turn came just in the nick of time as Bernard Murray's hand was coming down for the three. And both his feet went into the ropes for the break. Again over the top. Shoulder press was the last two. Vita <laughs> gives up. No, okay, he says, and allows Charles up. Yes, yeah. yeah, all part of the same move. His man was down, and he did attack, but it was all part of the same move, so the referee allowed it. Half a minute to go. In the third. Trip. But no figure four leg lock as Charles intended. Goes for the top end instead. Face bar and one leg folded. Vito's left leg folded underneath him. Just five seconds. And the turnover for the reverse double leg Nelson by Charles, but no chance. In the Well, Charles is uh, giving away nearly a stone here. 14 stone three. He's always kept it about this weight ever since we first saw him on television. 14 three is in the mid heavyweight class. Going up a weight to take on Vito this afternoon. 15 stone one, Steve Vito. So just 12 pounds anyway. Quite a lot to give away for these two big men. But is he doing well so far? In fact, it could be that if it's half as good in the second half as he was in the first, it's going to be a great bout. Seconds away, and round four. Round four, no score because one fall decides this. Vito, yellow trunks versus Charles. Side hit by Vito. Watch hold and throw, and the throw didn't quite work out for him. He hadn't got quite enough room to complete it. Complete the move of the roll. Both men watching points very closely now. They've tried all kinds of tricks on each other in this uh, bout. Yeah. First drop roll and the face down knee drop. Three, four, five, six. Again, the side head. Good backdrop there by Charles. Missed, 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 miss, double leg Nelson now, Charles. Folding press possibility by Vito, but spun out before he got it. And cartwheel beautifully done. And it's cross press by Charles again. Oh, gosh, gosh, gosh. And get the applause for that. Really appreciative crowd here. And why shouldn't it be? It's great wrestling going on between these two. Toe and ankle now, Vito. Just wondering how long before they'll start some very definite weaken weakeners against opponents' limb, a certain no, no. limb, like the left arm, for instance. Nobody's no, no. tried that really yet. 
A mixture of strength holds and speed and, and a very fast counter moves. And a really great part for the purists. Come on, Come on, And if they get so far and find they can't do it, forget it. Let his man up and start something which he hopes he will be able to do. More continuous action for the public and more chance of scoring for the. Now, full Boston crab. Attempted by Charles. Watch Vito's left arm. Come on. Now the right. Attention the spin out. Ooh. So a couple of minutes to the bowling round here. And Charles held that perfectly, that back headlock there. Vida had the intention of sending him right across the ring. In fact, we were almost moving back from the table at ringside here until Charles got, him, yeah? got his own balance so perfectly on the slide there. Charles held the leg as he came. Beautifully grabbed that ankle as he came. Less than a minute now in fourth. No. 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 Charles trying the single leg Boston. He's got 40 seconds plus to do it in. Leg spread counter by Vito and half a minute left. <laughs> Not that type of bout. One scoring chances Vito just as much as Charles does. And three seconds to go. Steve Vito, who's never admitted to me any form of speciality, but I just say now, fast counter-moving is probably his best feature. Not that he is any other wrestling feature, his technique is all terrific, but I think the fast counter-moving is really something to watch. He was a little slow on a couple of occasions with that dive, and he got caught in the body scissors earlier round, but we haven't seen it happen since. Two rounds to go, and this, any word is guess which way this one will go. Seconds away, round five. Round five, two rounds to go. Steve Veter in the yellow trunks versus Tony Charles. The first fall decides. Veter almost counted that before Charles landed, but he's still... Charles managed to get the arm somewhere. It's very difficult to see from here exactly what he's done. Just a wrist leader. And the finger. Oh. That's a better view of the finger interlock by Charles. the backhand position. And taking Charles across to the top two ropes, throwing him. 
<laughs> what a bad. And a fly out, fly out, beautiful fly across press, but still Vita gets him off. And there's a double arm now by Charles going down his shoulder press, and still Vita out of trouble. And the folding press by Vita now very near the ropes. Can he hold it? He's holding it. He's got it. Oh, if only we can see a bout like that every week.